lovers, we're gonna choose my October TBR with my friendly little helper, the TBR jar, and I am so excited. But fall is the season where I mood read the most, so trust me if I say I will bend these little, what are they called, prompts the way I want them, so I have a fall theme TBR. I will choose six books for my TBR again, and yeah, let's just have fun. It's one of my favorite videos to do. Oh my god, I can't open this jar. So, you know the drill. I'm gonna choose six prompts and then go through my TBR shelf and see what books we will read in October or attempt to read. You know, let's be honest here. It's not like always every book gets read, but I always try my best. I try my hardest. So let's find out what the first book is gonna be. Oops. I'm also gonna scoot over a little bit so maybe come closer. You can see the TBR shelf better. Okay, first prompt. Oh no, here. <laughs> A thriller, can you see? I hope. Wait. <laughs> yes. Ah, that is amazing. Okay, a thriller. Ooh, mm, that is perfect for fall. I immediately see I Am Pilgrim, which is one of the tasks I need to read this year. I said it in one of my other videos, I will have to get a different copy or read this through like audiobook because I hate this edition so much. Like it is just so small and just annoying to read a thick book when it's small. But yeah, guys, I don't think I'll have to go through. I mean, I also want to read this, but I'll be honest, I don't think this is a thriller. Like this might be like a mystery or not even that. I don't know what like genre exactly that is. So yeah, I think that was an easy one. Our first book of the month. I just know that this follows like a detective wanting to find this really bad serial killer. I think, I don't know. We'll see <laughs> if I'll be thrilled. I hope so. Let's choose the next one. Oh, this makes me so excited. Come on. Fall is my season. Oh, I have two here. Um, a book that starts with a letter of the current month. Okay, do I mean the current month like September, like S or October? For, by like current month, it's still S, even though if we're choosing October TBR, so should I do S? Let, let's see first what we have here. No, 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 no. Okay, I could do Sweet Temptation. I got this recently gifted for my birthday. It was Signs of Cupidity, but I know that I want to read this around Valentine's Day, so that's a no for now. We could do also Sunshine Kisses by Kelly L. Clark. I think this is like a friends to lovers, but this doesn't really give fall vibes. I mean, kind of does because of the like orangey colors, but I also just saw we have oof, the Sinner's Isle and this is also on my like fall TBR and 2024 TBR. But yeah, I think I'm gonna choose this one. So this is Sinner's Isle by Angela Montoya and this is about Rosalinda who is trapped on this isle, like the Sinner's Isle, and she is there to get chosen to be married off, I think, but she doesn't want that, so she flees the island. And when she flees, she runs into this pirate, Mariano. Yeah, I started this already a few times and I didn't love it because it was third person. I hope also that this might be just the season for it because I'm also like in a big fantasy mode, so I'm happy to choose this one. I'm loving my pile so far. Okay, let's choose book number three or prompt number three first. A book that's part of a s series. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't read my own handwriting there. No, a book that's part of a series. That is great. I have so many ideas already. So I want to read Ruthless Vows and Emily Wilde's second book. So first of all, I feel like they are great fall reads, but I also would finish these series with that. I kind of also would love to choose this one because this for sure I'm going to read in October around Halloween. So, you know, I want to read Ruth's Vows and Emily Wilde's Map of Otherlands. Ooh, 
because this is also part of a series by the way this is i don't know what the series is called to be honest but the first one is the x hex and i think there might be a third one i'm not 100 percent sure maybe there is not a third one okay this is difficult i want to read all of them i think the one that is the least intriguing for me is this one so i'll choose between ruthless vows and the kiss curse oh this is so difficult okay i think i'm gonna do this one because this i will read anyway so i will definitely also focus on this one and i want to so oh my god i'm excited no i i like my choice i really do so yes ruthless vows by rebecca ross this is the second book in the divine rival duology and i think this will take off right where the first one ended which I am excited about. Like the only thing that I'm a little bit scared of that a lot of people were a bit disappointed or just didn't love it as much as the first one. Is this series is very romantic. This is like historical fantasy and it's quite softly written. I don't know, like it's really beautiful and I like the plot, but I wouldn't say it's like super action packed. That's just not really the tone of these books, even though the plot suggests that. But yeah, Iris and what is his name? Gideon? No, that's the one I'm reading right now. Roman is his name. So they're both journalists and they were competing in the first book. So they were rivals. That's why it's called Divine Rivals. But they also both had these magic typewriters where they could write each other's letters and they didn't first know like who the letters were from or at least iris thought they were from her brother who was off fighting for the war of these gods that are in this world yeah i'm excited for the second one and also to finish off another series i will have to do this the other way around i think as i said this book is just a shitty format <laughs> it's not a good base for this uh book what is it called book pile <laughs> so all right i am really happy with the first three books so I don't want to jinx it, but I feel like the jar is just really, you know, vibing with me right now. Okay, book number four, Sports Romance. Sorry, I have to interrupt myself there. Um, I'm here editing this video and I see that I pulled out Sports Romance as a prompt. And I just did a whole video dedicated to all the new releases coming out like in September, October, November. Why I ignored my own advice basically, I can't tell you guys, but when I don't properly prepare these videos, like when I film, and by that I mean I need to write things down and put them here so I can see them with my eyes because they're not in my head. And why I'm like interrupting myself here is because next month we're gonna have Anna Huang's new book, The Striker, and I am so excited to read that book. And guess what? It's a freaking sports romance. It's about soccer, or as we say in Europe, football. And oh my god, how did I forget that? So I feel like I want to kindly ask you guys, but also, you know, obviously this is my video, I have my own rules, but um, let's maybe pretend the next minute or so where I choose a book for this prompt. It's actually not that one, but it's The Striker by Anna Huang. Like, hopefully I can read both of them, but I only want to be held accountable for The Striker by Anna Huang. And if I read that book with my other TBR books, then I completed my whole TBR for October. Okay, guys, okay, um, so let's make a deal here. I hate when people do that and like change their mind, but I would have chosen that anyway if it would have been here on my shelf. Like, it is definitely on me. Like, it's my fault that I forgot to put that on here or maybe i will put seven books on my tbr i don't know like maybe we can do that i find it really difficult right now if you guys don't talk back to me so maybe also let me know in the comments and in my imaginary head you guys are saying it's okay go with the striker and maybe you're also saying just read all of the seven books what do you guys think please let me know and yeah continue now how i choose not the right book for this prompt Ooh, i could do Cross the Line by Simone Soltani, which is an F1 romance. This is not particularly fall theme, like I would rather have read it in summer and I wanted to guys. But you know what? I thought I lost this book, but it wasn't obviously lost. It just fell down here and I never saw it. <laughs> And then the whole summer I was looking for this book and couldn't find it. So yeah, my chance to read it now, probably. The only other sports romance I have on here is Powerless by Elsie Silver, because I think he's a hockey player and she's a ballerina. So I could also choose this one, but I'm actually buddy reading this with a friend. Yeah, I'll choose Cross the Line by Simone Soltani. And yeah, I'm not mad about this. So he basically needs like a better image and the person 
who could help him is the best friend of his little sister, but that's obviously a problem. And the other problem is that he kissed her last year and hasn't been able to stop thinking about her since. <gasps> Ooh, I'm loving this. So yeah, excited for this one. And also there's still a few races left for F1. So yeah, I want to read this before the season is over. All right, next one. I hope you enjoy the little ASMR noise. Okay, let's choose one on top. Oh no, lost it. Okay. A book title that starts with the word the. Oh, that's basically every other book, right? <gasps> okay. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna do the kiss curse. I mean, the other one that I thought about, like that immediately popped into my head was The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. But I just really want to read the kiss curse in October. And yeah, I'm just gonna put this one on my TBR. I'm so excited for this one. This is a very silly romance so don't expect like a super emotional read this basically is halloween town and it just really embraces the whole like witch and halloween season in a very cute romantic but also silly way guys my tbr is looking so good for october i definitely think i'd say that every time but october might be the month where i finish all of my books on my tbr you never know so let's do the last book for today oh I'm kind of scared not to choose one. Okay, I'm gonna choose this. Did I just lose one? We had a jumper. Um, okay, last one for today. A book on my seasonal TBR? Guys, I did not plan this. Like, I hope you know. <gasps> that is so good. So I actually just filmed my TBR for fall. And let's see what I have here. I like definitely okay i have three books that i could choose that i really want to read from my seasonal tbr besides all the other ones i definitely want to read you again and i might put this one on my pile so we have three fantasies one romance and one thriller we could do another romance i could also do this one love letters to a serial killer which i'm just ugh. i'm also very excited to read or The Natural, but I think the one that really draws me in is You Again, because this is just the perfect fall cover, and yeah, I think I will choose this one. I love this pile, not gonna lie, I really want to choose a seventh book now, but I shouldn't, so yeah, I will restrain myself. This might actually be one of my best monthly TBRs, so I am so happy, guys. Let's start with the first one I have here, The Kiss Curse by Erin Sterling. Then we have You Again by Kate Goldbeck. And this is like an enemies to lovers story. And I thought it was second chance because it says You Again. I kind of gathered that from that. I'm not 100% sure. I am just so excited for this one to read in October doing like fall, fall season. Like October is the month for fall. Then we have Cross the Line by Simone Soltani. And yes, this is not super fall theme, but I'm still happy. Then we have my friend, I Am Pilgrim, that I just really need to read this year. And I'm excited to read this, but yeah, I just need to get a different copy. <laughs> then we have Sinners Eyebell, Angela Montaya. And I'm not super thrilled, but I want to give this a fair shot. And I do like the synopsis of this one. And last but certainly not least, we have Ruth as Vals by Rebecca Ross. I feel like this is also just the perfect time to read this. So there we have it. Guys, this might be like the best monthly TBR ever. Like this jar was just so perfect for this month. I hope you also enjoyed this video. Give this video a like and also subscribe for more bookish content in the future. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!